Hey guys, and welcome back to Frontlines. We're very close to the end now. In the last episode, we took out the last, um, I guess, way into Moscow, I suppose, now. Our situational brief is mass coalition invasion force has entered the city of Moscow. Coalition strategy is evident. Eliminate Russia from the war, leaving the Chinese as the single remaining focus. Yeah. Yeah, about that. Uh, anyway, uh, objective. Battle into the downtown core and overtake the government ministry buildings. Yeah, this one's rough, guys. I am reporting to you live from the Western Coalition front line in their siege of the Russian capital. We have battled 2,000 kilometers from Turkmenistan and have fought to the doorstep of Moscow. <laughs> Fighting has been savage. With Russians doing what they have done to every previous invader, thrown everything at them imaginable. The military has shown no restraint whatsoever. The only testament you need to that statement is to look at the mushroom clouds on the horizon. Even the civilian... That's a very close range um, engagement with a missile. God damn it. God damn it. The soldier. Didn't even know your name. All right, gentlemen. Our time is now. You want the Russians out of the war? You want to split the alliance? Well, here's your chance to make the difference. So listen up. Braley, Mikowski, take 12 with you and head to the easternmost bridge. Yes, sir. Historians will write books about this day, gentlemen. Now let's go out and make sure the straight dogs end up in the freaking cover. You get me? Yeah. Okay. okay, we'll meet you guys on the other side. Alright, Gears Bro, calm down. Calm down, we're on it. He's certainly trying for that Oscar, isn't he? Right, let's go. Stray dogs, your time has come to join the ongoing siege against Moscow. Your first objective is to secure two key locations that you can use as staging areas. Oh, look at all those red dots. Relay we need destroyed, and another is an enemy held plaza we need secure. All the weapons in the arsenal are at your disposal. Use them wisely. Excellent. Right, so this is a new drone, a new, a new assault drone. It's actually a mortar drone. It it it's basically the same as the assault drone except it fires mortar rounds instead. Uh, it's okay. Anyway, looks like we have a hell of a lot of reds in this destroyed building here. So, about time we start doing something with that. Wow. That really kind of rocked us a little bit, didn't it? Yeah, so apparently the Ruskies are nuking their own city. Um, shock, right? But that's okay, because apparently these incredibly yo uh, low yield nukes that they're using aren't uh, much of a threat. Wow, we're getting toasted. Let's back the F up. Yep, we're fighting Russian militia, which is interesting that the game went there. Literally fighting conscripts. They're not even conscripts, though, are they? Just old uh, Ivan and Helga handed a, a rifle and sent out the door. Well, that's okay. We don't mind. Anything that's pointing a gun at us gets shredded. At least that's the plan. Plans don't always go the way we want. Oh, God, little shit stain. Actually let that rocket loose before he died. Git. Now, you would think that these militia dudes aren't actually as bad as the Russian military, but uh, they're the same. I, I mean, if there are any differences between the two, I never noticed. But, oh, God, let's start maneuvering. Controlling the vehicles in this game is kind of ass. Gee, if there was only uh, a bigger, um, more polished 
franchise that had been going for the last five years when this game dropped that actually showed you how to do vehicles in uh, first person games. Yeah, if only there was one of those, eh, that writ the book on how to make fun and exciting vehicles. Yeah, shame. Right, now I'm being a bit too harsh. The vehicles aren't too bad. But, uh, they ain't Halo vehicles, I'll tell you that. It's kind of like the how the vehicles control in, um, Fall of Man. Resistance, Fall of Man. Remember that? Yeah, that that was really bad. But, you know. Actually, we kind of need to get to those games. i got a weird relationship with Fall of Man. I played the first one uh, when it first came out. And, and I, I literally thought it was absolute garbage. I got about halfway through... Uh, did I, I don't even know if I got halfway through the game before I literally thought this was trash. Um, and then like a few months later I picked it up again. Might even have been a year later. So I remember I brought my PlayStation 3 uh, as a treat to myself. Just on the way home one day. And um, I thought oh, I'll, I'll grab it. And I grabbed it with Fall of Man. And something else. Folklore. Um, which is an extremely expensive game to get your hands on these days, Folklore, and it is really, really good. But yeah, Fall of Man, the, the Halo killer, as it was uh, back in the day. I remember, yeah, really trying to get through that and just, ugh, Halo killer, are you sure? Uh, but anyway, I did get back into the franchise um, about a year, maybe 18 months after, and I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it was it was a pretty good, pretty good game. Definitely deserved to carry on, if you ask me, or at least get a nice HD trilogy. That went badly, didn't it? But as for a Halo killer... <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, we've got Reds to fight. What was that other one that Sony had as well? Resistance? Ugh. Uh, resistance was was not good. I don't know. I uh, I played the first Resistance on the PS2, and I will die on that hill. Resistance one is trash. Absolute shit. Um, there were so many better FPSs. On the PlayStation 2. Some really genuinely good ones. But Resistance was crap. Um, not Resistance. Uh, what the hell was it called? I'm getting sidetracked now. Thinking of all the shitty games that I've played. Alright, let's reload. Ah, that's better. Back in the fight. No, Resistance was actually... like Yeah, Resistance was okay. I think the second one was my favourite, thinking about it. But I did have I did have a really good time with the third. And I didn't hate that one on the PlayStation Vita either. The one where you played as uh, a fireman. I didn't hate that. For what it was, at the time, it was pretty good. And we're just getting torn up here. We need to go get another tank. There we go. That's better. Now, who's left? Killzone is the game that I'm thinking of. Thank you. Brain finally got back in, in gear. Yeah, Killzone 1. Absolutely terrible. Awful game. Killzone 2 was massively better. It was a huge and huge improvement over the first game. The trouble is... What they showed off on E3, um, and what we got, were two very little, very little, <laughs> two very different things, weren't they? Yeah, the game they showed off at E3, we, we didn't get that game. We got something uh, way watered down. And by that point, Halo 3 was out, so... Um, <laughs> Killzone what? 
And then we had Killzone Shadowfall. I never played Killzone... Th what was it? Killzone 3. I never played that one. Killzone Mercenary on the Vita, actually, again. That wasn't bad. That was, like, really freaking impressive as well for a Vita. It was a really pretty game. And it played well as well. Um, and then Shadowfall came out on the PlayStation 4 and... Ugh. Yeah. Not great. Very pretty, but... Extremely generic. Now we're in a bit of a tight spot here. Let's see if we can get some health back. We need to roll in there, really. There we go. Yeah, Sony never really had a lot of luck with first-person shooters. Well, at least so far. Which is interesting, because they've nailed it out of the park with pretty much every other genre. It's just, yeah, they struggle with first-persons. But then look at Guerrilla Games. They went on to create Horizon Zero Dawn. And Horizon Zero Dawn was... Oh, from the last generation, uh, PS4 and... Xbox One Horizon was probably uh, one of my, well, it definitely was one of my favourite games. Um, I absolutely adore that game. Loved every second of it. Didn't want it to end. Funny enough, I've got the DLC, but I've never played the DLC. Just haven't had the time. Nice. And man, do I want to play Horizon 2. Really freaking badly. I really enjoyed the world, the characters, just pretty much everything about it. Fantastic stuff. Be interested to see actually if they come up with another kill zone. Would they be able to. Look, I am checking. Alright. I thought they, they they were hiding a tank around that corner. I think it's a little bit further down. Yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn, man. What a game. Ah. Uh. Yeah, no worries, buddy. Um, yeah, knock yourself out. It's not like I was using that or anything. Well, we've got this rail gun. I guess we'll have that. Now, God of War, yeah, uh, the reboot of God of War, I actually, I enjoyed that quite a lot. Uh, I never finished it, though. And for some reason, I'm not that excited about the sequel. And I cannot tell you why. I should be. Um, done and done. Hey, we got more tanks. Actually, let's go get the fresh tank. Yeah, I don't know. God of War Ragnarok. I probably should um, pick that up, actually. Uh, the first God of War again. Get the Game of the Year edition on Steam when it goes on sale. Give it another go. That's if my uh, poor old 1060 could handle it, which... Uh, well, I mean, it's a PS4 game, so... Hey! What do you mean? Oh! Oh, right. I thought we only had to take one of these sides out. Shit. I thought we only had to destroy one of these. Son of a bitch. Yeah, we're going to lose our armor now. Ugh, that's okay. Yeah, because there's two different options we've got here. There's two different beachheads, to, uh, two bridges to attack. You only have to take one of them. Maybe that's after this objective. Actually, there's a tank there now. Grab that. It's a good thing uh, armoured vehicles actually spawn when you've taken an area over. Like, if this tank gets destroyed, you just got to wait for a bit, and then you can go back and uh, grab another one. Yeah, I never hunted down the um, Valkyries or anything like that. Or maybe I did one. I can't remember. I don't know, man. We used to stream. We used to stream a lot. We used to stream lots of games. Streaming was fun. Ooh. Come on, baby. Get that shell. Oh, I didn't quite get it on target. Come on. Send it. Ah, we missed again. 
come on. On target. Yes. That's what we're talking about. Keep clearing the reds. Yeah, resistance. Oh, I got a hankering to play that. You know, um, I think it was a year before last. Shit. My uh, partner actually bought me a really nice, really good condition uh, PlayStation 3. So I could do loads of PlayStation 3 games. And that hasn't happened yet. It will, but it hasn't happened yet. And Resistance is definitely one of those ones that I want to get my teeth back into. Because I don't... No, no, I was going to say I didn't play Resistance 3 back in the day. No, I did. I'm thinking of Killzone again. Because uh, when I actually got it for my birthday, um, I started playing Resistance 3. Uh, and, I, you know... I, it is good. It's so good. I think it was the third one I started playing. And I straight back into it. Really fun. Okay. Let's just try and whittle these guys down. I think visually as well, like, resistance holds up quite nicely. Excellent. That's what we needed. Well, that's no good. We'll do our best, Captain. Really? The hitbox on that tree branch there is literally stopping Sabo rounds going through. Yeah, so this is the bridge part. We actually only have to take one of these bridges. Now, thing is... Let's get a reload. Gen I don't know if I've ever gone for this bridge before. I generally take the other one. But will here. we will here. Yes. Oh... And they have that horrible little EMP charge, which is right there. Actually, we don't have... Ooh. Nope, EMP's still up. There we go, EMP. Done and dusted, son. Now, this is rough. This is, as you can see, tanks out the ass. This is a seriously contested area. Ooh, man, we need to get rid of some of these turrets. Damn, didn't work. We don't really need the rail gun. You know what we're going to do? Oh! Nice! Thanks, man. Thanks for lending us the tank. Very kind of you. Come on, baby. Come on. Yes, we get rid of one. That's fine. You can take cover behind the other burning tank. Let's send our little mortar drone through. Takes a little bit of getting used to this bad boy. But the mortar rounds are surprisingly effective, actually. Now, come little fisher. But because it's a mortar, it is an indirect fire weapon. Oof. So, we must treat it as such. But you can see kind of how much damage this thing actually does do. But it is highly, highly inaccurate, <laughs> which is its downside. Well, I say it does a lot of damage. Kind of struggled a bit with that, didn't it? Come on, let's get that last sal salvo of ammo out. There we go. I don't care if it gets destroyed if it's empty. Now, let's roll forwards. Let's take this boot. I don't know why I keep calling it a beachhead. It's a bridge, obviously. Nice. Look at them run. Yeah, no running, kids. We are taking some sniper fire, luckily. Sniper fire doesn't really impress us much. 
Oh, we're okay. Come on, let's get some let's get some repairs. A Como is man in the gun for us. He's a good man, that one. Let's get some flares dispensed. I mean, it's a cool effect. Launching the old flares. There's just there's no point in it. I don't think. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, we got a lot of OG Xbox games to get back into as well, and uh, that's going to be fun. But I'm I've bought a really nice HDMI adapter. It's been custom made. However, unfortunately. It's been delayed. It was supposed to be here last month. I uh, got an email saying it's now going to be here next month. So it's two months late. And I'm just pouring myself a coffee because I'm smart, you see. And I come equipped with a flask. Look at that. Eh? That's what smart LPs should do. Instead of having to run to the kettle every 10 minutes, make a flask of coffee. I actually don't make a flask of coffee. That's always a silly thing to do. There's a workman's tip for a lot of people. If you um, always take a drink to work in a flask, say a cup of tea, cup of uh, you know tea or coffee, whatever, you'll notice that your flask inside gets stained and horrible, and then will um, collect flavors and things over time. So don't make your drinks up and leave them in your flask. Pro tip, put hot water in your flask and bring coffee and milk with you separately or whatever you, you have. And um, that way you don't end up stinking up your flask and it lasts for years and years and years. There's a tip that I discovered working at my place. Outdoorsman tip for you. Oh, hello. Shit. This is going badly. Oof. Out sniped a sniper with a rifle. Whoa. I didn't, I didn't need ears. It's fine. Hopefully I can get some kind of uh, war pension for that. Oof. Guy's a bit spicy. Alright. Does feel a bit weird actually murdering civilians. Frontlines did it first, call of dudes. Actually, I can't remember when this game came out. Was it before that particular Modern Warfare game? Was it Modern Warfare or Black Ops? I can't remember. Uh, I never actually played that one. Kim man. Kim man. Maybe we do have to capture both of these bridges. Pretty sure we don't. Ooh. There's an Ivan tank over there. Oof. That's spicy. Yep, nope, we don't. We only have to capture one. Or as much. Now, is it worth putting a break here? Mm, possibly, because this is a long, painful mission. Uh, yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it off here, guys. Uh, and when we come back, we're going to finish this game. Because this, yeah, especially on this difficulty, this can be rough. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought that part of the mission was rough, but mm, not that much, actually. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.